Hello everyone, this is Animation 4, welcome back to some more tech node for Mercraft. So I was playing around with this lan these lanterns for a long time. And like over there, I got them to attach to walls, but I couldn't get it to attach to blocks. I actually don't have them on me right now. They, they just wouldn't attach to the top and bottom of blocks. Like if I put it on the ground. Well, it works in this case. It wasn't working before. Actually, was it? Yeah, actually it was. Now that I think about it. It was working, but I w couldn't get it to attach to the side of thin blocks. Like, I couldn't get it to attach to this when I wanted lanterns. But apparently, Terraformer Craft fences it likes to attach to. So, just, just three fences and a lantern looks pretty neat. I, I, was, I was spending a while trying to get something like that, but, you know. I think it looks nice. I think we can... Use a few of those, especially not on the main path, because the main path probably can have a little better lighting. But on these side paths that go off into the distance, you know, we're still going to need a little bit of light. Mm -hmm. Lanterns to light the way. So, for whatever reason, it's still snowing. It's it's March 8th at this point. It's early spring. There should not be snow, but there is. We got to go on. What's the temperature? It's minus 2.71. That's cold. Um... But we gotta go on. It, we gotta do some adventuring. So there's two things I want from the, today's adventure. Uh, the first one is I could use some animals. It's lonely here. This whole, this whole land is all mine. I want to share it with some some friendly cows and pigs that I can eat later. Second thing I want is if you look up blast furnace, not blast furnace. Sorry, a crucible. If you look up a crucible. It requires this fire clay. And to get fire clay, you need calonite and graphite. Now, I said a while back that I found calonite. I found a few veins of calonite. I haven't found graphite, though. You get graphite ore. So that's the other thing I want to find. And surprisingly enough, you find graphite. Guess where? What material is this? You find it in quartzite. It's over there where I do my quartzite mining. It's probably going to be where we're going to go. I got a prospector's pick. I got a backup prospector's pick ready to go find all the graphite and the lake is still frozen it's been frozen for so many months now but yeah it makes travel easier yeah so we're going over to i just parched melted jump we're going over to the caves to the ah, i i knew it's i knew that was there we're going over to the quartzite and hopefully we can find some graphite. If not, well then, we have another challenge that we had with the flux. You know how much fun that was? Yeah. You only got to see like a fifth of the fun, but it's a fun journey for flux. Should be coming up on the quartzite soon. Yeah, there it is. It gets lighter. Yeah, here we are, quartzite. Here's my my quartzite mining spot right at the entrance. Uh, yeah, I am going to look, start looking now. Oh wow, look at this frozen lake. I really want ice skates. I want ice skates in this game. Ah, 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 ah. I'm fine. Fine. Totally looking where I'm going. I don't see anything in here. Oh boy, it's that special time of day again. It's night time. Oh wow, night is coming faster than I expected. Yeah, they're already... Ah, okay. Detour. Detour. Not that way. Jeez, this thing is long. It's a very long ravine. And this part of the lake is not frozen. I expected this part of the lake to be frozen. Don't worry. I've been in situations exactly like this before. What we have to do is not move. And we'll be fine. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's morning. The ice is melting. I don't want to be on the ice anymore. We have yet to find 
anything except that spatoid. I found a little bit of cinnabar, but that doesn't count. That's not. That's not granite. Not. What do I look? I'm looking for graphite. Yes. Yes. No. Wow. Am I still here? I'm still here. What is that? Yes. Oh man, that's such a good sight to see. That there is not a good sight to see, but I'm going to ignore it. Oh man. I went. I basically scanned this entire area here. And then came up this way. It's getting this whole area here. I've been just scanning the world for like an hour now. And I finally found some graphite. I, this graphite is what I want, right? I don't even remember anymore. Yeah, graphite. Okay, so we do have a very large sample. So, pretty simple. Go to the end of the sample. End of the very large. It's about here. Halfway back. It's about here. The bear is not influencing my decisions. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice. And I totally used all my logs to make planks. So I don't have any supports. Yes. One graphite, four graphite powder, which makes one fire clay. So we don't actually need much graphite, I don't think. Like, it's only used to make graphite powder, and that's only used to make fire clay. So if you don't need a lot of fire clay, you don't need a lot of this stuff. But I'm pretty sure for some reason you do need a lot of fire clay. Yeah, clay fire bricks. Those are really big. And you do need those. And that's why I was going to go get some... Some support beams. I do have an axe. It's dancing. Okay, I think I got a decent amount. I got like two stacks of graphite. That's really all you need. You don't need much, but you do need it. So this vein is definitely still big. There's still a lot more here. I have it marked. So if we need more, we can come back. It's now that I know where it is, it's not that bad. The part, the bad part was not knowing where it is or if there was any. So give myself a little temporary shelter here and I'm just going to, it's going to wait out the night, maybe mine a little bit more. Probably not though. Cause I'm really tired. I'm probably going to record more tomorrow morning. So yeah, we found the graphite though, which is awesome. Now I just got to go mine that, that calonite. Okay. Time to head out. There's still plenty in here, I believe. And I got a good three stacks, I think, in this thing. So yeah, very, very good find. Very lucky find. I can't believe I actually found some. I was expecting to have to go to a different island and start looking more. But you know, that means we can actually do other stuff this episode. This is a good plan. <laughs> Running across a melting ocean. No! I'm all wet. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, now this is actually the ocean. I know, because I've ridden a boat on this ocean. Wait one second. I'm hungry. Let me, let me just, just stop here. There's a sheep. It, 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 there's a sheep. Oh, there's sheep here. Hi. We're going to be friends. Okay. I was here for the Kalanite. I heard there was Kalanite here. There is, in fact, Kalanite here. But I guess there's sheep too. So we get sheep. Oh, shoot. Maybe, it's, maybe I'm just on the side. This is a... 
It's a medium sample. Nothing small. Come on, give me, give me large. I don't want it to dig down really far. No, it's down really deep. Okay, I'm going to figure this out exactly. Small, small, medium. Okay. Small. Medium here, medium, medium. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right about between these two. Nailed it. Okay. There's a cave around here. Definitely a cave or something. Okay, I do have support beams. I need to get some of these down straight away. There was a cave down here. actually pretty funny I, I don't even know where that cave is I haven't seen it yet oh there it is it scares me every time okay let, let's, get, let's get some of these support beams down way down there okay so that's that we got the graphite powder we got the kalanite powder now the trickiest thing of all we need some clay there we go one two three four five a little bit of this a little bit of this fire clay into fire yeah we're going to the nether so now it should just be that we got a crucible I mean, make a crucible and throw it on the ground. So with this, in theory, we shouldn't need to do the stuff over there anymore. In theory. But I don't know. Yeah, so we should now be able to drop ore into this. And it'll fill up as it melts it. So, like, we can just make bismuth bonds in this. We still have access to the forge down here. It's a little bit harder to get to now, but you know, that's fine. So we still have all the bismuth here, but that's not what we're doing. To, that's not what we're doing now. The other thing I said I was gonna do was get animals. And we are now going to get some animals. First I need a place to put them. So I'm going to make really quick a temporary animal shelter out of I don't know what kind of planks. Let's go for pine. Make some pine. We make some pine fences, and then from there, uh, these ones. Two logs, two planks. Okay. From there, I'm going to go get the sheep, and we're going to store them locally. Come here. You guys are coming with me. I think th for the most part, these ropes are pretty sturdy. And I should get them caught around something. Then they're not just going to break because they're too far. Is that it? Is it just three? 
Okay, we only have one female. It's always good news. Oh, we got some fish down here. So we are going to actually take the water as far as we can up to here. Then we just gotta walk a short distance. Don't worry, there are no sharks. So another fun part of the swimming back to base with my sheeps. And I don't think I can switch off this rope, otherwise they leave. So I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just going to sit like this for a couple of minutes as we cruise along the coast. Chilling with my sheeps. They're like trying to get to shore. They don't like the water. Am I stuck? Am I stuck on something? No. Go. Okay, we, bought, we got a bogey ahead. Could be a bear. Could be a pig. I honestly don't know. I don't think I've been down here much to figure out what it is. We're going to avoid the bogey. This is this is the long and boring part. Now I have to go across the land, which is much slower. And I already, already lost one. Cool. Where'd your rope go? Your rope. Yeah, I'd, I'd much prefer to transport them on the water. It's much more consistent. <gasps> That's why. That's why I prefer to transfer them on the water. Yeah. <sighs> and look who realized that falling into that hole was a bad idea. Jeez, that's a deep random hole in the ground. How horribly inconvenient. Okay. I'm going to make a shovel and dig my way down there. And really hope the sheep are smart enough to not jump in. Close enough. And my 29 levels are now 5 levels. Cool. We got everything back though. So we're fine. Um, fastest way out of here would be to do this. Pretty sure I have ladders. <laughs> I have ladders. Yeah. Okay. So we got one, we got two, let me just start gathering you. It's a really bad place to just have these sheep be wandering around. I should have remembered this was here. Should have gone around it. I did not do this. Oh jeez. Stay, you're the female. You're the female, I can't lose you. Okay, apparently. Apparently they're both over here. Okay. I think we lost a male. Let's go find him. Just look at this. This place is just full of random holes. Okay. I think the male's over here somewhere. But I'm going to be very cautious in this area. Cannot see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Need to snack along the way. Hey, found him. Gotcha. You come with me, good sir. Okay, so we're gonna go far to this side before we start heading north. Hopefully we can avoid all those chasms. And we lost one already. Cool. To be eating your rope. Where'd it go? 
Where'd that rope go? I don't know. Here's my little pen for them. So to get them into it. Which I think I can do. I just push. I think they'll go through. Yeah. Uh, you can remove yours. They won't naturally walk through the gate, I don't think. But if I push them, they will go through. I think. That might not be right, but it might be. I may be wrong, but I may be right. Okay, so it is actually springtime now. See, the snow is melting. We're in full spring. It's April 6th. So we got to start planting again. And the big thing is, now that we have animals, that's more mouths to feed. Uh, so we're going to try to start planting more grain. Uh, hey, you guys get barley. Hope, th hope they like barley. Do you like barley? This animal won't let you do that. Really? I'm trying to feed you barley. Okay, there we go. Okay. They're fed. It also says familiarized on top. However, they will not they do not want to breed right now. So don't I I know a little bit how these work. Like I'm pretty sure I can't shear them until we're more familiarized and that heart thing is filled up a little way i don't know how breeding like what what requires them to to breed so that'll be interesting regardless i have to start planting crops of i think i'm gonna try to set up because i have to rotate fields right because as time passes, nutrients die down. I actually have a high, I have a adapted agriculture. I should be able to see fertilizer levels using the metal hoe. The the um not fertilizer mineral levels. The mineral levels will decrease as certain things are planted in them. So we have to make sure that we rotate the crops or rotate the fields. Uh, M, M for mode. No, there is no mode for that. Oh, you... There is no fertilizer mode. Interesting. Must need a better hoe or something. But regardless, certain crops do lower the, the, the levels, so I have to rotate them. 
that is fine. We we'll plenty them anyway. Hopefully, as we get better, we can start collecting more crops and collecting more seeds, and the field will start getting larger. But that is going to do it for today's episode. In the next run, we will be building a nice barn to store all these sheeps. We're going to get some pigs. We'll put them there too. And we will probably do more building, I guess. Not entirely sure, but you're definitely making a barn. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.